Hello everyone, I'm Apostolis from Eurovision Fam, and here with us today we have Monica Linkite. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Monica. How are you? I am doing great. Um, a little bit uh, exhausted to be honest, but you know, like there's no time even for eat. So I already uh, already told you that I'm just like I hate cinnamon bun, and I'm sitting in my car and having this uh interview right now but yeah in general i'm just like really happy and living my dream so what could be better you know how was this whole experience so far with the national final now the pre-parties the traveling singing preparing for eurovision tell us about this experience oh well it's amazing i sh i should say that you know i i think that i didn't expect this you know just like uh, I didn't know that we're gonna have like so many pre parties. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's a good. It's it's good that I'm not you know rock and rolling everything and and you know just like trying to be as much serious as I can. Even uh, still, I wanna you know have fun with other participants and I'm trying to handle that stuff. And I think that that's that's the most um hardest thing to do you know like to, to to have fun but also be professional and just go on a stage um sing um and yeah just to give the 100 percent of yourself and in, into the music but yeah it's just amazing i didn't expect that yeah and this is not your first time in eurovision right no 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 we met you back in 2015 and... yeah 2015 Tell us more about that experience of Eurovision in 2015 and also what things will carry with you in this journey. <laughs> well, definitely now my boyfriend are not here, but <laughs> but um I think that the the experience what I already had in the and that's um uh Eurovision contest uh, 2015, I, I have it with me I have it in my heart um the the love I felt from the people I think that that's why they pushed like this power it pushed me to 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 um to just go into the music industry and and, and just be there fully you know and and after Eurovision um I went to study in London it was like th the best year you know um and I think that those eight years I was just um you know, collecting all the experiences after Eurovision, uh, writing loads of music, um, performing this and that. And and yeah, now I'm just like full power coming back to the stage. And all those things made you the artist you are right now for this year. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I think that, you know, um, I was just like, you know, trying different stuff, trying different um like musically I I've changed a little bit um but all these years I was just like you know searching the right path um and I, I don't think that you know as a musician you would end this the search you know I think that it's just like constant constant um journey but but yeah, I evolving, think that's... evolving through the years and becoming better. Yeah, and better. yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. So yeah, you shouldn't be very um, uh, like it should be expectable <laughs> to see me after eight years more. You know. Yes. So let's talk about the entry this year. Stay. Uh, yeah. First of all, tell us what is the message behind that song. And of course, I cannot ask what means tuto o tuto. It is the catchiest lyric of your song. <laughs> Maybe one of the catchiest lyric of the whole year so far. It has stuck on my head all those months <laughs> about the song. Yeah, I've heard this a lot. Like, uh, like people, first of all, they're asking, what does it mean? And the second thing, they're like, my god it just stuck into my head and i yes. can't take it from for like you know weeks so thanks monica uh well but i think that it's so catchy because it has a super big and beautiful meaning in it 
And um, the whole song is about the healing, about finding your inner peace, inner self, inner heart, a voice, and, and, and starting to live for that voice. And, and I think that, you know, I needed that healing very much. And I, and I was searching for that. Um, and uh, Tuta Tuta phrase, I took that from Lithuanian folk music. It's some kind of spell. Older days, Lithuanians, they were doing rituals. They were standing in a circle and they were singing, repeat, they were repeating these, these phrases. Uh, they were singing these phrases. And, and that was giving the power to come back to your heart, to connect with your soul and live like bright, brighter, live a wiser life. So, so yeah, and, and that's, the, that's the message. I really think that, you know, nowadays people really do need that. Like I experienced um, this need uh, very much. And I, and I see that, you know, we West, West world people, we are sometimes lost, sometimes so unconnected with our hearts. But life, when you live through the heart, uh, it's much more colorful. It's much more joyful because that's the connection with your inner self. And, you know, you can't buy this relationship. You can't buy this friendship. But this is like the most important friendship ever in, in this life, you know. Yeah. So I really do believe that people need that. Uh, and, and the Europe in general, in in this contest context uh with the war and everything i told you before i'm a huge fan of your song but also i'm a huge fan of your staging on the national final i love the colors the color palette on the stage will we see something similar in liverpool yes we're definitely gonna see something similar we're gonna stay with the amber um color in general because um uh, Amber is like Lithuanian gold. So we want to spread this message, you know, spread and then stick to the roots uh, and stick to something what is like really meaningful for us Lithuanians. Um, yeah. And, and I and, and love that I have like my BVs with me, like my backing vocalists and that we create that circle that we are recreating, you know, um, that, that, um, um uh, magical yeah. thing what was I, t I i already told you about you know like um uh, yeah like, like the ritual uh thing and, and yeah i already told you this but like uh we didn't record that one of my baby she's half british half greek yes <laughs> greeks you need, you need to vote for lithuania so all the greeks watching right now vote for lithuania <laughs> I mean, you should do that. <laughs> so, uh, do you have any favorite Eurovision entry in general through all the past years? Um, yeah, I do really like Maneskin. I mean, I, I think that they made a huge and a good career with it. Um, I like how, like, I like the freedom what they are spreading. Uh, I really love Salvador from Portugal. Uh, but I love mostly all Portugal entries, so <laughs> I have some kind of crush for them. Uh, I also really love uh, this year's Spain girl. Like, she's amazing. Um, uh, Jamala with her song, which was, like, super meaningful. I love that as well. Uh, Ruslana with Wild Dances. Yes. I mean, I was in a great floor when she did that. And, and yeah, I just really remember how my classmates, they were, you know, uh, we, we made like uh, monkeys. Um, you know that when you repeat something, like you're yes, yes. singing and, and repeating something. So so I, I remember my, my classmates, they were, you know, uh, all of them, they were trying to be Ruslana that year. Uh, so yeah, some something like that. Also, I love ABBA. I love ABBA's song. Classic Eurovision winner. And yeah. this year, have I guess you've heard most of the songs from this year's competition. And do you have any standouts, any song that you like from this year edition? So I already told you that I love Spanish uh, girl. I mean, Spain with Ea Ea. Amazing. Um, I love... Um, 
Norwegian. They have a strong song as well. Uh, but you know, like Irish guys, they're my friends already from all these pre parties. Slovenian guys, already friends. Uh, Portugal girl, already friend. I mean, you I can't made, say that I don't like them. Already some friends from the pre parties uh, shows. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, uh, mostly all of them, they're so, so uh, friendly. And it's like a pleasure, you know. It's 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 a pleasure to share the stage with, and stay not even the stage, but like, uh, uh, you know, um, the evening time with with these people, and I and I love it, and and I love that everyone, mostly everyone, is quite like friendly, and and yeah, we're just like, you know, uh, we were joking that it's like some kind of uh, camp, you know, for kids. <laughs> So we feel we feel that, that way. And a fan of yours, a Greek fan of yours, uh, today I told him that we're going to do this interview and send me a photo, a throwback photo of you and the other Monica. We're we're not close friends uh, nowadays, but I love her. She loves me. I think so. <laughs> Monica, uh, write me a message if you don't like me, but. Mm uh but yeah i mean um i know her from 16 i think um because uh because there 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 is like um singing uh, music uh contest in lithuania and i won this contest and uh the the organizers uh organizers they put us uh, to sing together and that was okay. the first time i met her yeah we were singing whitney houston song uh, we would love to hear that from both of you. Yeah, both. yeah. I think that she's like the most craziest Lithuanian artist. Yes. Uh, she is super talented. Uh, she has like the best humor sense ever. And and then I'm so glad that, you know, we're both from Lithuania and we, we are sharing the same name. <laughs> The same name and back to back, one in 2022 and the other one this year. So yeah, yeah. before we come to an end, we would love to hear you sing just a small part of your song for all the fans. And also give us something, a greeting for all the Eurovision fans from Greece. So first of all, I want to say thank you for all your love, all your support you're sending to me. Uh, I know that everybody is saying this, but like, I'm truly saying this from the bottom of my heart. Um, it 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 feels really amazing to to I don't know to be on a stage or to get all these messages where people are you know singing or just like you know saying something very beautiful about the song, and uh, I can't wait to share my EP, which is coming on 11th of May. Um, and yeah, I I really wish for everybody who is listening right now um this connection with your heart and uh and that connection that 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 connection would help you to live uh life with uh with more light and more more joy and yeah just just enjoy small moments enjoy life life is very short um and i think that music can help to do that Chuta 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 my heart is beating Thank you so much Monica wish you the best of luck in Liverpool hopefully Thank we're going to be there have a chat in person and wish you all the best thank you very much for this one Thank you thank you so much have a great evening uh, are you in a Greek right now Yes yeah, that's lovely. You have a better, <laughs> better weather then. <laughs> yes, from now on, it's starting to become a little bit of summer in Greece. Yeah, uh, that's beautiful. We're waiting for you in Greece and thank you very much. Good luck in Liverpool. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.